Hello everyone, so here's the third part to this question. So this is a very good question and this one confuses a lot of people. So in the previous lesson, the previous two videos, we've been dealing with length from this top part to the bottom part and in the first part I told you what the x value was and so on and so forth. Now the question is very open-ended. It simply says, what is the maximum length that SB could be? So what people fail to realize with this one is that SB is a line that can slide from left to right. So it looks like this. So SB can slide, okay? So we don't know exactly where it's gonna go, but we're looking for the place where it will have the maximum length. Now, how do we do that? I mean, you could choose random X values. So for example, you could say, let X be equal to one. So that would be somewhere over here. You could then, that means the X value at this point would be one and the X value down at this point would also be one. You could then plug that X value into, the, into each of the equations to get the Y values at each of those points. You could then minus those two Y values to get that length. And you could keep doing that until you get the, the biggest length, but there's a much faster way. We know that the length of that line is gonna be the Y value of the top point minus the Y value of the bottom point, okay? So pause the video if that part doesn't make sense and just think about that for a bit. We do know that the length will be the Y value of the top graph minus the y value of the bottom. So the y value of s minus the y value of b. And that's going to give us the length. Now the y value of the top is the straight line. So we can replace that with x plus 1. And the y value of the bottom is the parabola. So we can do that. And that's going to give us the length. We can then simplify. So I'm going to multiply the minus into the bracket. And you can call it distance, you can call it sb, length, whatever you like. I'm then going to simplify. So that's minus x squared plus 4x plus 5 and that's going to give me the length. So the length is presented by this equation over here. Now that equation over there is a parabola. So if we want to find the maximum length then all you do is you find the turning point of this parabola over here. Not this parabola at the top, this new parabola that we've, this new equation that we've just developed. So to find the turning point, you could complete the square. You know when you convert it into ax minus p squared plus q. We have looked at that at earlier parts of this course. But I would suggest that you do that only if the question asks you to. Otherwise, you just want to use the turning point formula, which is minus b over 2a. So that's going to give us minus 4 over 2 times minus 1. And that's going to give us uh, 2. So what does that mean? It means that when x is 2, that is where the maximum length would be. So that's somewhere over here. So x is 2 somewhere over there. But now what is the actual length? Well... There's multiple ways to do this. You now know what the x value is, it's two. So you could go plug two into the top equation and the bottom equation and then just minus the two y values. Or you could just plug that two into this equation over here because this equation over here gives you the length already. So I'm gonna plug two into that and that's gonna give us a total length of nine. So the maximum length that you would ever get between those two graphs is 9 and that will happen when x is 2. If you prefer to take the x answer that you got and plug it into each of these two equations then that would mean the straight line would be 2 plus 1 which is 3 so that means that this y value over here is 3. You could then plug 2 into the parabola and so that's going to give us 2 squared minus 3 times 2 minus 4 and that's going to give you minus 6. So that means that this y value over here for the parabola is minus 6. It's not necessarily at the turning point, by the way. Many people think it is. In this case, it probably won't be. So what is the length then between 3 and minus 6? Well, that's 9. You could say 3 minus minus 6, and that's going to give you 9. And that's the answer that we found anyways.